Hey guys, welcome to Trailmakers Stranded series. So, uh, earlier today I was kind of looking around on this island and thinking to myself like, hmm, what's left over and uh, where do I need to go? Well, before I start heading off to some new area, I was just kind of casually looking at this and thinking, oh, okay, so there's some interesting things here and there. And I was like, you know what? Every area that I've been to, uh, be this area and this one as well, I found out that I've been leaving just like little bits of equipment and scrap just all over the place. So I was just thinking to myself, you know what I need to do? I need to dedicate an episode where I'm just cleaning up the areas that I've already been to. Now, obviously, I can't get the things that are super high in the air yet. I haven't built or obtained any scrap that would allow me to build some kind of air vehicle. So in this episode, we're going to take some time to build a few what looks like I might build some like aquatic vehicles and then finally go pick at some other scraps to build other vehicles. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see if we can get the Dragon Engine right here in the middle of Dragon Lake. So as you can see, the first little bit of a challenge that we have here is that it's submerged underwater. Unfortunately, I don't really have any scraps that's going to allow me to go underwater yet, such as a diving bell. But I do know where a diving bell is. I'll just have to grab that later. In the meantime, I think I'm going to build a crane boat, something that's going to allow me to get down there, pull the scrap up, load it up on the land, and then collect it. So let's head over there and see what we can build. Okay, I still want to be able to do this while we still have daylight. It just turned to morning, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the lake and see if we can make an amphibious. Well, actually, it won't be amphibious. It'll probably just strictly be aquatic. Aquatic crane boat that can lift that out from under the water. And I'm going to try to keep the, uh, of course, the, the original dump truck here just so I can load in the material. The reason why I'm choosing this one is that I just did an engine upgrade on this, so it's got the diesel raw engine on it. Uh, I got the pistons down, the parking brake, essentially. And it's a pretty low to the ground vehicle. So however I build the crane, hopefully the crane will be able to just drop it in the back of this. Which now that I'm looking at it, that thing is small. And that scrap over there from this distance looks quite big. But let's go ahead and gamble and see what happens. Uh, I think today, since my time lapse video did so well in my old video, uh, sorry, in the last video that I did, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do another time lapse video. So let's jump in and see what I can make. <laughs>
All right, so this is the abomination that I've made. It has way too many controls than I anticipated. I kind of wanted some more flexibility on a crane as opposed to just limiting it to like the arm controls to two buttons. So now it's got six or eight buttons now to control each of the joints. I put in some pistons, I got the magnet in there, got some lights so for nighttime diving I can grab some material. Uh, it doesn't actually go that deep, but I think it might be just long enough for this. I haven't tested it yet. I did a quick paint job and I added some cargo holding in the back because I thought I was going to put hinges on here to make it turn around work and drop it off. Unfortunately, uh, adding too many hinges and then having it turn to like nearly 180 degrees created this weird jello flexi body all over the machine where it wanted to break into pieces. So let's go ahead and do this. This might take me a minute to kind of figure out how to maneuver this thing because I haven't quite memorized the buttons yet. Okay, so I changed the speed on the piston, so hopefully it goes down a lot quicker. I also added some uh, more reinforcements on the side of the piers, so hopefully this thing actually does something. Now it appears though, by slightly hitting the turn, just very slightly, I can sort of turn this. I'm going to try to counter it so I can line it up. I'm going to hit the tap space a little bit. Go ahead and activate the magnet. Okay, so it does look like we're just right over it. So... There we go! Heck, we got it! Okay, so let's retract on this thing right here. Where did it go? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, there it is. So let's go to this thing. Oh, crap! This is, I'm kind of quite proud of uh, how this turned out, honestly. So let's just do this. Oh! Dang. Okay, so we're switching over to the Hercules uh, truck. I keep hitting spacebar because I'm still in like boat mode. So, let's see what we got here. Oh baby! Freaking dragon engine. It's pretty tight. Okay, so our next uh, scrap cleaning or just, you know, catching the little stragglers around these islands is actually getting this power cord that was sitting on this hill alongside this cliff. Now, before, I was actually up there collecting scrap and I couldn't get down here with the bog beast because it kept flipping, it's just too steep. But I found out that this little little dump truck can actually climb it, like, no problem. So, I guess because it's just got a, like, a low center of gravity. We're gonna pick this up and see if we can load it into that machine and see what comes of it. You know, it might be time to upgrade this dump truck again. I kind of like it. I like its simplicity. I like how it helps me out. I really need to make the beds just slightly bigger. And then it would be able to handle these larger loads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dang. Okay, so apparently no matter how many modifications I made for the small dump truck, it could not at any point in time go up that hill with the debris in the back. It was just too darn heavy for it. So I'm trying something crazy and I'm gonna use the barge crane to carry it over to this island over here where there's a capsule to uh, to take the salvage. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break. Boo! It counts, baby. I got it. I got it into the barge crane. The all right, so I accidentally beached myself over here. I thought I was gonna get a little bit closer, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get the, uh, I guess we're gonna have to get the, not the bog beast, but the Hercules beetle out. This thing is huge. This is cool, this is cool. Like, I know I could have made everything so much more simpler, made like, you know, using the magnets in like certain vehicles and stuff like that. But if I can help it, I want to try to like make more creative solutions than the actual uh, magnet like situation. Oh my gosh, I gotta change the speed on that that tilt. Here we go, baby. This power core is required for your spaceship. Oh baby, only 61% more to go before we can build a spaceship. All right, so we got the next victim. Apparently this piece was way out here on this tiny island and either I ignored it or just decided I couldn't get it. 
Okay, we finally got that sucker loaded up. So now we're gonna try to swing right wide because this thing can get beached in shallow water, so we gotta try to avoid that. Crap. Yeah, oh, I'm already in the shallow waters. Dang. There we go. There's no one around me. Where the heck did that come from? Okay, we're back to our next target over here, over in hmm, Lake Lapis. It's a pretty tight name. Let's go ahead and see if I can get this correct. Boom, baby! Gosh. All right, so this is the new boat that I was working on. It's like my little speeder boat. Something I made real quick. I didn't bother making a tide lapse video about it. But, so here's our next debris. I believe I can get the barge crane to wedge itself on here just enough to get small modular wing the okay we might be getting close to building a boat oh, sorry not a boat a plane forgot the barge boats made differently <laughs> okay we'll just rip those suckers off gosh this barge crane thing is it's pretty tight i freaking love this thing dang i'm, I'm freaking loving this work now i mean i thought it was crap but hey it's this sucker's working uh oh i just let that go in the ground and see what happens to it Ugh. Oh, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, can I get through this? No, 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 no. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh okay. Thank goodness. Okay, so we just dropped off the small modular wing. We'll come back to that later to build something. I think I still need to get, like, some kind of, like, propulsion. Maybe, like, a propeller or a jet. Now, there is this explosive material over here. I think this is a uh, motorcycle seat, which is going to be, like, insane, because I've had this, like, basic cockpit for, like, ever. <laughs> God! <laughs> Jesus! <coughs> Oddly enough, the material spawned on the ground this time. Oh, my gosh. I hate it when it makes that hissing noise. Okay, so we got that one. Let's see what this... A power core! Okay. Hi, you know, like one more of those and I'll be able to just like throw on a dragon engine on one of these things. Oh dang, I might need to get the Hercules because this thing ah oh, this thing is too too short. Frick, okay. Oh my gosh. I am so freaking careless with this thing. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wedge <of> slope. <laughs> Sucker down. <gasps> Why do I get the buttons confused? They're the same thing. They've always been the same thing. God, no. Oh, no. Fuck me. Okay, I got an interesting idea. I think I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. I don't know how it's how this is gonna work. But I think if I I think if this thing is wedged just enough, maybe maybe I can kinda just fall off the edge here. And maybe I won't fling this explosive material like a hundred feet behind me. Oh my gosh. I am so janky. I do not understand me. I do not understand me. <laughs> Ooh, big brain boy, what's up? Okay, okay. This thing is just high enough. Gosh, I'm flinging this thing around like, I hate to say a dark joke, like a baby. <gasps> oh God, thank you. Okay, for some reason, uh, it must be because it's too hot. This power core is required for your Thank you! Oh. oh, what is this? Blueprint available. Monster truck. What? I could build a monster truck now? Hold on, let me look at this. Okay, so I just built the monster truck that the game was recommending. And taking a closer look at it, it's more like, like an aquatic, friendly base uh, vehicle. It actually had me put on some aquatic motors on this, some propellers, and a magnet on the front of it. Let's see, I can't remember. What was magnets? What is magnets, uh, like default control? I think while I'm riding along, I'm gonna see if I can get this little niffler over here. Oh, and there's freaking landmines out here. Ooh. Let's give this a shot. Why not? Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is kind of bad. Oh, this is kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, you mother trucker. I'll be up there in a moment. This is, you know, not, not that bad to navigate on. Now, if I was driving one of the chunky boys, that'd be a problem. 
We're already way up here. Oh! Didn't mean to hit that guy. Where are you going? <laughs> I gotta be careful not to turn too hard on this thing. This thing flips. Gosh, I love this thing. Where are you going? Oh, what? Okay, I gotta... Louise. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he didn't go far at all. Okay, all right. Let's see what this other salvage is around here. And uh, actually, you know what? Hold up. Okay, yeah. Let's, let's see what this thing is up here. You can hardly see it though. Almost like a wedge corner. Okay, cool. Oh! No! Dangerous. Wait, isn't there like another salvage pod? Like. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. What else is around here? So we got that. There's a power core. There's a wedge. Unknown salvage. Uh, gimbal. Unknown. I don't know. Let's go look at what those are, and then I'm probably gonna hop off because, like, I've, I've spent a lot of time today getting all this material. All right. So this seems like a pretty good time to wrap up. So today was kind of productive. It really took me a long time to get some of the salvage, being that some of it was on the water. But hopefully with the new materials that I got and some of the new scrap, maybe I can progress a little bit further. The barge crane turned out to be pretty useful as far as like moving objects across water, especially the larger ones that I couldn't get up a hill, the steep inclines. So I think what I need to do to upgrade this is actually increase the cargo area in the back. And obviously I see an orange piece that I didn't color. So what I'll do, oh, and the railing looks janky. Oh, okay, yeah, this thing this thing has some weird flex body issues, but for the most part, it's actually pretty cool. It is very useful. The crane I've managed to use a couple of times, but transportation will probably be its primary use. Uh, I think in the future, I will need to steady that arm a little bit more to, I, because I do know that there's some islands off to the side here that's gonna need some transportation. So that's gonna be interesting. And then of course I built this little speeder boat, which I didn't do in a time lapse, but I built it real quickly and it was really nice to have to move around real, real neatly and efficiently around the islands. But anyway, it's been fun. Uh, next time join me and we'll try to clear out some of the rest of this uh, material that's on this side of the island. I did find an interesting cave that had a part in it and uh, Niffler actually led me to it, but I didn't finish uh, tracking, the, tracking the Niffler because I wanted to bring it up in the next episode. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope to catch you next time and have a nice day. See ya. Bye.